All right, let's get back to Ralph Lauren now yeah. uh, that we just talked about. Out with updated strategic growth plans and a long-term financial outlook, the company said it's expecting mid to high single-digit revenue compounded annual growth rate in its three-year financial out outlook, also operating profit growth exceeding top-line growth by fiscal 2025. The shares are a little bit higher right now. They were a little bit higher in the pre-market as well here. Um, so basically, it is looking to accelerate growth at the company here. Um, it's targeting average price increases for its merchandise in the mid-single-digit range as well over the next several years. And that's interesting, too, because it's not just this year, right? right. It's, it's looking out a little bit further and continuing to see price increases. So um, that's interesting here. What we had seen uh, pre-pandemic, a phenomenon I've talked about before, was this rampant discounting. Mm -hmm. And in many cases, it devalued brands. Yeah. So now Ralph Lauren is working on reversing that, um, sort of elevating the brand's image, elevating its cachet, and in part, Ironically, you do that by raising prices, right? Yeah. And and giving giving that sort of value halo around the brand. You know, it, for this, it comes down to location, location, and somewhat vocation. And I'll break that down because location is what they're talking about, wanting to win in key cities within their consumer ecosystem. Location in terms of the tiers of market as well uh, that they're working within and some of the, the core products that they're talking about, this next cohort of high potential underpenetrated categories focused on consumers. And then the vocation, where people are going to be wearing mm. their clothing mm. at the end of the day, too. They're, they're trying to re-energize this lifestyle brand. They're going to um, really look to target and expand and elevate their lifestyle brand positioning globally. Um, and they're going to be going kind of more towards this, this high-quality consumer acquisition. So that is going to be one of the key elements that we look for from this point. But it all is going to need to play out in the numbers. They're targeting 15% um, operating margin expansion by fiscal year 2025. So that's one of the targets they've set forward. And, and it's going to cost them a little bit, too. At least 4 to 5% of uh, the revenue annually is going to be some of the capital expenditures that they're putting mm -hmm. into these efforts as well through yeah. that time period. To do all that opening, to do some zhuzhing up of the stores, <laughs> et cetera. Yeah, yeah. exactly.